Hello everyone and welcome to the July edition of Commerce Bytes, which is also our inaugural edition. My name is Saurabh and I'm the founder of AssureX, an engineering agency specializing in Sitco. We've recently been recognized as a Sitco Silver Solution Partner. And if you want to know more about our company or the services that we offer, please head to our website at assurex.co. The purpose of this Commerce Bytes is to give you a 360 degree view of what is happening in the commerce world. So in this regards, you know, we have with us Nishit Parag. Nishit is India's first and only AI MVP. He's the Microsoft Regional Director and authored more than half a dozen books from WCF Times to Artificial Intelligence. Without further ado, let me hand the mic to Nishit. Nishit, it's for you. Thanks, Sarah, for the nice word. Uh, let me know once you are able to see my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can. Uh, you need to switch on the presentation more, I believe. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so my my name is Nishit Pathak. I am uh, I am I am uh, the only AI MVP of Microsoft in India, and I'm also a regional director of Microsoft as well. So out here, I'm going to talk about AIoT in e-commerce, and I know most of the folks out here has been coming from the site core background and they want to understand what are the industry trends in terms of commerce. So I'll try to make sure that uh, I don't, uh, you know, bombard uh, the audience with a lot of technology jargons, but I want to make sure that they are key, key takeaways and you need to understand what, where the industry is evolving. So uh, what is AIoT, right? So I think, I think the point that uh, we really need to understand is AIoT is nothing but a combination of artificial intelligence with meeting with IoT. And when you are talking about artificial intelligence and I IoT, these two technologies have been working in the industry since a couple of years. AI is everywhere, right? You know, wherever, whether you are using a Google search or you are using a, buying a product, uh, uh, from an Amazon or any of the retail websites or even you are talking with stuff like Alexa and other stuff at home or you are talking about smart homes everywhere there is there is AI right so AI is probably is one of the biggest revolution of industry in terms of technology that has come and it has really transformed the life and everybody of us is actually using AI in one way or another right and that is where the AI comes out. So propositions of AI is really multifold. Now, at one end, there's artificial intelligence. The other end, there's IoT. Now, IoT stands for Internet of Things, right? And in a very raw term, if you understand IoT, it is a combination of uh, connecting sensors and actuators of devices with the network. And IoT has been there into the system since a couple of years now and how the traditional IoT system have been worked, I'm going to talk a little bit more about in, in flood sites, but really the combination of these two technologies have been isolated and have been using it out. So IoT generates a lot of data and AI was used to you know, process that data, you know, come up with, with great insights. But AI, AIoT in itself is being a buzzword and is bringing and radical change in various industries and we are going to say, see it how. So let's move it further and let's understand, you know, what does it take in order to, you know, what does it happen in terms of 2020 in just one minute? So if you look on the slide, you will see in just one minute, there are around, <clears throat> around 4.7 million videos that are viewed in YouTube. There are more than 4 million apps that are downloaded from either a Play Store or you know, Google Play or App Store. There are 4.1 million searches, search query that happens. There are around 7,064,000 7, hours on Netflix that are watched. And you know, you talk about, and this is just a social data, right? There are 1.2 1, 1. million views on Twitch and you know, talking about tweeting, you know, 194,000 or more than that, people are actually tweeting every single minute. 
So what does it say? It actually says that there is a petabyte of them data that is getting generated. And even data is actually actually getting generated from everywhere that you can imagine. And 95% of this data that is getting generated is unstructured in nature. Now, if we have some data, can we utilize this data to bring some insights? And when we are talking about this, the other things that is also being, being there along with this whole data getting generated and that was a social stuff. Now, if you really talk about the IoT as an era or a landscape, think about the number of you know, sensors and devices and networks and APIs that are getting generated over a period of time. Now, by 2021, there are around 212 billion sensors that are expected to be in the industry. And if, you are, if I talk about two, 212, the whole world population is just 7 billion. So you can understand the number of times of the sensors that are going to be connected. The number of devices that are going to be expected by 2021 are around 50 billion. There are 2.5 billion of people that are accessing either a 4G, LTE or even now 5G that are expected to be using by 2021. When we are talking about Fortune, you know, Fortune 500 companies, you will really see it out is that around 90% of those Fortune 100 companies are actually offering the public APIs that we can see it out. It be it billing, be it social, be it search, be it marketing, every related to the you know, you know, uh, comma stuff. We are talking about applications, million applications that are being being used across the world, and you know, just about data that is getting generated about mobile. It is you know. 50 times, 500 times petabyte of data that is actually generated. Humongous amount of devices are getting generated. And each of these devices actually generate a great amount of data. And when we are talking about IoT, we are actually talking about connecting these data and thinking, you know, just to make your stuff a little bit more easier, you know, Think it up of you know some of the devices like you know at your home, right? For example, refrigerators, uh, you know, televisions, or you know the cameras that you have. All of these are actually having, and in case if we can connect it out to a network of internet, this is just IoT, and it actually happens that these all sensors and actuators are actually helping out to create a generated amount of data. Now, what happened next? So we have social data on one side, we have artificial intelligence on the other side. And the third thing is that we have IoT devices, which are more than the population of the world, which are getting connected in it. So can we utilize it? So, and, and my, the flow that I'm trying to say is, I think everybody knows how high level of what exactly artificial intelligence is all about. What I'm trying to take out is, you know, we need to understand a little bit more about IoT and then we go out a little bit more further. Now, if you really see out any of the IoT flow, the way IoT solution works out pretty, you know, in where it actually has divided into three. One is things, second is the insights, and third is actions. So things is where, you know, you actually generate a data. So think and be any of your sensors, right? You know, that's television, or your refrigerators and all. And they generate the insights. Now what happened is, these insights normally go out to the cloud from where it actually processed. And then you take an action. So it is, it is just, this is a typical process of how the IoT solution happens, right? Now this works out so far so good, but one of the demerit which I presently, and I can bring it out to you in front right now, you know, this architecture is more resembling about, you know, a reactive approach. So you have a data which gets generated, goes to a cloud, it do the processing, find out some anomalies, maybe a fraud detection, and then take an action. So there are system and transaction, especially in the e-commerce area, when you need an instant response, a reactive or a preactive, predictive uh, response rather than a reactive one. And that is where this whole IoT solution and IoT solution really lacks. Now, 
before i really go out and i want to go a little bit more technical about it this is how the core system of an iot architecture looks like so you have an iot devices and you can have millions and millions of iot devices on the left side which is things on the left and then there is a cloud gateway which is our interaction through which how you interact with those iot gateways devices it can be used to provision and sending the data to and from it can also be used to filter the data as well and some cloud data you actually sends a data to a cloud for either doing a stream processing or a storage or generating intelligent reports out of it which is in sites and while you are doing a stream processing you might have a business value where you want to integrate with any business process that if hey if you are seeing any anomaly let me know if you are seeing a fraud detection let me know so let the data comes out and in case if you are seeing some sort of anomaly detection fraud detections or in case if i want to do some sort of insight for a customer who is visiting it you know let me know and i can take some sort of business decision but entirely if you look on the whole iot architecture that traditionally most of the enterprises not just uh, you know e-commerce but we are talking about either a financial services or we are talking about healthcare or any of the government services we end up having this core self system of an iot architecture like this one the problem with this iot architecture is that it is not predictive what happens when your iot devices you know gets uh, having any issues and it is not able to you know generate it can we device up can we bring some sort of intelligence within the iot device itself so that in case they can be self provision if there is an issue with an iot device they can self heal it with so many hundreds and thousands and millions of sensors that are getting generated over a period of time managing them is going to be very cumbersome and using uh, architecture i think things are going to change and we are going now i talked about iot ai and i briefly talked about ai iot as such sensors I have actuators, and I have a structured format. And then we, which is used for intelligence, data processing, and insights, and it gives an AIoT. And even just to give you a, a little bit raw terms, as a human being, you have sensors in your body as well, right? Eye, tongue. Can it do anything without a brain? your body parts are the iot sensors ai is actually your brain so you need a brain to interact with it and what happen if you can just combine so when your sensors get uh, intelligent data processing and insights or we, we can put some intelligence inside these sensors at the end we can get it out is intelligent and connected systems that are self healing this is really very important because the the human over a period of time you know there is a need of an hour to have this device self provision they should be able to handle the things by themselves right and this is what aiot is all about now if you look out a traditional iot architecture and iot i really briefed out but even just to give, go a little bit down you know typically the iot architecture on the past is on the left hand side where we do a collect store process analyze and control and then collect it out this is so when we are talking about insights data insights and things insights and actions that is exactly what happened a little bit more detail how exactly aiot differentiate is it actually helps to make sure their devices become more inspired by itself we may we are bringing some intelligence in it and the only portion that gets added in aiot is act so your devices become more smart think it out you have a normal camera which is just doing a recording you know normal you know high vision cameras that are that are normal doing a detection and let's say if i add a you know face detection or you know for, you know a face recognition system directly deployed on the edge of that camera and making it smart 
you know think about you know i don't need to go through entire you know video just to understand if i detected it out you know i can really get out and there are a lot of uh, you know smart cameras that you can actually use out in your smart systems right uh, at my home in india you know what i have done i have actually created a lot of smart home at my home using iot devices so i have divided you know using lot of deep learning models i have deployed it out on the edges like cameras and all and making it more smart and such so anyone let's say for example rings a bell i know who is ringing it out i can take the step and i can know whether the door needs to be open or not everything is very very smart and this is where the you know industry application is doing using it so if you would have heard about the terminologies like industry 4.0 definitely aiot is transforming the way industry 4.0 works now a little bit back about what exactly business needs right and then we will talk about you know how exactly business needs on a day to day basis so business needs insights definitely yes so that they can take some informed decision they all need entries that can that is what business needs business also needs a improvement in the decision management process so can you tell me some by looking on a pre structured data can you help me taking some pre decisions for the post i think that is what can we have a predictive and real time actions so rather than waiting for my data to go to the cloud and taking instance there are time when we need an immediate actions for example like let's say uh retail stores right so let's say if i my camera is smart enough to know that there are millennials who are actually getting entry into the shop i can actually have my ads into a millennial category so depending on looking or understanding the sentiments i can actually push out uh, uh the customer care to help the people right can we have the personalized recommendation nowadays gone are those days where you know the the recommendations are given everyone every each one of us actually need a personalized recommendation whether we are watching a movie in a netflix or whether we are buying some application in retail stores or whether we are doing some sort of transactions we need personalized actions think in terms of the physical stores that we have can we take some sort of sentiment analysis on terms of physical stores right and i understand that footsteps on the physical stores have been regulated but aiot the usage of aiot in physical stores have changed massively you know things like amazon go right you know you go into the you know technology has been into the system like you go into a uh, a uh, shop pick up the products and you go out you know you know without any stuff you don't need to pay you don't need to have any customer care you just pick out the devices and the bill will get processed and do your system you know and these all are possible because of the use of having devices as well prediction accuracy this is again very very important in terms of predictions so when i am predicting it out that hey these are the number of sales in order to increase the sales to x amount of percentage i need to do this sort of investments and all and in case if i can take good prediction accuracy there will be or informed decisions definitely business will help and at the, at the end of the day it is all about customer delight and you know there is a very famous saying in terms of uh, sales that if you want to think about customer to think about you first you need to think about customer first and that is where phenomena of most of the successful business enterprises that you would say they are all customer centric customers are the ecosystem and if you talk about aiot all we are trying to do at the end of the day in terms of e-commerce stuff for any of the industry is that we are generating the data which is related to a customer in a very unsung way and this is called a ubiquitous computing that we move forward with now next i have is how you know and i think this is this is really a important slide where we are talking about how business are using iot right and there are multiple ways the business are using and in the previous slide i talked about what business needs in order to solve these problems is what exactly is business actually are using aiot so we are 
we are using aiot to do our two automation may be it doing an automation of any of the manual task in the factory and stuff or in commerce world uh, you know think it out in terms of uh, you know uh, shopping carts where we have a cloud managed pause to manage the point of sale and process optimization to the use insight for tangible value outcomes and this is important in case if we can be more proactive rather than being reactive and this is very very important in terms of getting insights because customers need the data right way here can we have a better customer management can we have a time to bad market insights as well because it is important because speed to market is really very very important for any of the business to be successful and if, and when a person is doing a transactions let's say in any e-commerce transactional website if a customer reaches out to your site is not going to spend a lot of time if he is not getting a value out of it and at 2 second is that normally a customer do a search wait for 15 seconds to get the right data or move it out to a next site and do a googling or figure it out the next you know site that can help so with so much important it is make sure that the real returns of the site optimization is very important better tracking and logistics right one of the projects that we have worked out is creating a smart sensors right and creating a virtual cart system so as soon as you are taking a product out of a retail stores you know automatically your virtual cart gets added and that takes out and i gave you an example of how you know the smart cart system is being used by amazon go in a previous stuff personalized action i gave you an example of millennials coming in and of course in a you know normal stuff if you are doing you know some transactions online definitely a personalized action is key we have also seen it out that using aiot one of the other aspects that are coming out is delivery robots right so robots are doing delivery as such and you can really see it out such things such investments are going to happen you might be having a customer care which is basically taking care of the whole stuff you might be having a process optimization that which is giving which is giving the uh, great returns you might also end up having couple of process stuff and couple of devices which are really changing the whole world as such so this is this is what i want to talk about aiot as such i want to make sure that people are aware i really don't want to dig it out into the technology forte in more deep because i know most of the customers most of the audience out here are from aiot you know from the sidecore stuff and they want to hear a little bit about how the business are using aiot and maybe in the coming few sessions i want to deep dive exactly into some of the important use cases and get it up so if you have any questions i'm very happy to answer it out and this is these are some of my links for the blog and uh, you know the links in microsoft side and uh, amazon side thank you nishit thank you very much uh, you know that was really informational and to be honest like you know if i if i kind of related back to sidecore commerce you know it can be used in variety of ways because of the headless architecture of sidecore commerce you've got like apis which you can directly call and you know if if those apis can be called from the devices iot devices people can collect a lot of data or information about the customers making them return to their e-commerce website or maybe the physical store because one of the customers i was working with they were working on a plan to kind of know customer better so that you know they've got billboards in the in in their boutique and if the customer enters the shop it it lights up with their kind of you know personal, like you know some kind of personal greeting or something like that so those are the things that people were planning and i think is kind of very much achievable with with the combination of iot and sidecore commerce uh, headless architecture that has got right right i think i think that is that is really the nature of work to be honest uh, as such you know the ai ot really brings out uh, uh, as i mentioned right with deeper insights and data analytics you know the you know customer can have can be into a uh, right position to take up a uh, better product experience as well and from the business you can account for a behavioral patterns and personal preferences so personalization becomes a key so overall you know the health of the product operational efficiency overall product performance and you know deploying it out on a services on iot devices i think that is going to be a success
Yeah, so may I chime in? We actually have um, one of our customers that um, is using uh, AIoT uh, in combination with Sitecore. They they sell um, equipment to uh, to maintain uh, lawns, uh, lawn mowers, etc. And they have these uh, IoT boxes that are connected to every um, every piece of equipment, lawn mower out there, and it automatically sends maintenance data um, to Sitecore, which is gathered, which can then feed into a service plan or automatic uh, ordering of uh, spare parts or maintenance um, equipment, etc. So. No, that's really cool. I think, you know, we <laughs> it demand for one more session to happen. Like, you know, maybe you can bring in that example if the customer allows for that. And they should exactly. Get into the technology. So yeah. that's really cool. Uh, I've got one question that, you know, uh, it's been asked, like, is big data and AI interrelated? So, so I would say it out in one line is big data is a mean and AI is an end, right? So that is probably the way I could say, right? So big data is a mean to come out and, you know, data has been getting generated and this data actually, you know, handle, handling this data is all about big data. But big, you know, what you will do with the data unless you process it and utilize it. So actually, the end of the data is obviously artificial intelligence. And this is really, uh, you know, a good example, I could say. And one of the examples, you know, which Tim was asking, you know, there are, there are a couple of things that I want to give you. Some of the other examples where, you know, uh, companies have used, uh, you know, AIoT in a way. way. I think everybody have uh, heard about the chocolate company called Hershey, right? So with, with concept of AIoT, you know, uh, Hershey use AIoT for efficient weed management, right? So they are like 14,000 gallon of Twizzlers that are being used for doing the weight for precision. So with AIoT, you know, they have, they were able to have an improvement of around, uh, 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 improvement about 15% uh, in their weight precision, which save around five, $500,000 for them every, every year as such. You know, that's the kind of, advantage that we end up, you know, utilizing AIoT into our industry. That's really cool. That's really cool. And thank you again very much for your time and thoughtful session. I personally enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel so that you get notified about our latest videos. If you want to know more about our services, please head to our website at assurex.co. Thank you very much once again. Take care and stay safe.